And despite the continued stay at home orders, highway traffic is picking back up in San Diego County. Sandag released new data this morning to show us how many more people are back on the roads. And our Jeff McAdam joins us live from Rancho Bernardo to show us. Jeff. Hi, Maria. That's right. Well, every year taxpayers contribute millions of dollars towards roads and transportation because you know, we use the freeways a lot, uh, moving you know, around, going to work, whatever we're doing here in the county. But what if we didn't moving forward? Our new work schedule, our new life changes as a result of the coronavirus could be changing as the months progress. And it's going to be important to keep our eyes on. If you've been on the roads the past few weeks, it's hard not to notice. Definitely, there's definitely more traffic. Yeah, I mean, I know people are probably getting a little bit more relaxed about everything and feel like they can go out. And I feel like that sometimes too. How quickly things change. A study by Sandag shows traffic had fallen about 50% below average a little over a month ago during the second week of April because of the stay at home orders. Oh yeah, I was out and about and I remember it being like, it was kind of eerie in the sense that we haven't seen that light of traffic in well over 10 years in San Diego. We saw some big drops in freeway traffic. We wanted to see what's happened now that the economy's starting to open up a little bit more, our beaches are open. And it has. Data shows traffic is only down 31% now. That was as of May 16th. Since then, we've had other business restrictions lifted, like dining in at restaurants, retail shopping, and getting haircuts. So those numbers will likely continue to trend up. More cars on the road. But how high will the numbers go? The answer could shape the landscape of transportation moving forward. The way that we're able to measure these changes over time are with freeway sensors, and it's something we're going to keep looking at. Sandag does regional planning, so we definitely want to take into account how are our long-range transportation plans going to have to look. Our employers still going to offer telecommuting to their employees, which we hope that they do. Um, are there going to be more flexibility in hours, especially in the short term when we know our schools are still closed or might have reduced or changed schedules? Yeah, and rush hour speeds are down 20 miles per hour right now. And, you know, who's to say, right, if uh, people are working from home and they don't go back to work, who's to say your rush hour times, 4, 5, 6 p.m., things like that, will even stay the high peak times moving forward. Maybe it's going to be 9 in the morning, noon, 1. Who knows? Different things could be shifting as our life patterns shift as we move forward. And that's something Sandag's going to keep an eye on. For Rancho Bernardo, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.